Hello everyone. In this video, I will be covering one of the SQL intro question that is asked in a Ecolab intro recently. Given as a customer table, we have a customer ID and email. Uh, we need to find out a domain from the email ID. So now we have abc at the rate of gmail.com. So in this gmail.com is the domain that we need to find out. Similarly for other records, so we have xyz at the rate of hotmail.com and pqr at the rate of outlook.com. So from this, we need to extract our domains like a gmail.com, hotmail.com and outlook.com. So this is the expected output we need to find out. If you know the solution, please post in the comment box and also watch the video till the end. There was a one more counter question asked from a panel once this question is asked. So we'll cover that question as well. So let's get started. We have a customer table here with the ID and email. We need to extract only domain from this email address. So maybe I will be using here substring function. Basically, substring function extracts some characters from a string. So some characters in the sense from the email ID, we required only some characters that is a gmail.com, hotmail.com, outlook.com. So this kind of uh, some characters we required. So we'll be using a substring. We'll extract uh, these things. So we'll see step by step how we can extract it. So starting with a substring. So let us say I'm giving a substring here. Let's see how substring function works. So inside substring, we need to pass uh, parameters. The first parameter we need to pass as a uh, string value. So string value in our case is email. So these are all the email IDs. Maybe I will give some test value. We'll test it first and then we'll implement for our table. So maybe I'll give here test at the rate of gmail.com. So this is the string I'm having. So after giving a string, next we need to give is a starting position. So from which position you want to take the characters. So I want to take the characters from G and uh, till dot com. So all these characters we need to take. So we need to give starting position. Starting position is G. So this position, what is the number of this position that we need to give? So if you uh, count it from here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So G is in a sixth place. So that uh, six we need to give here. And then uh, next parameter we need to give here is a length. So the number of characters you want to extract from that, we need to give. So uh, the length is this one. So starting starting here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is the length. So this, everything we need to get in the output. So we need to give here nine. So let's execute this one. Now see, I'm getting a Gmail outcome. But if I give a length incorrectly, maybe if I give here seven, and if I execute this one, now see we are getting gmail.c only. So till here only we are getting output, that is the length. Whenever you are giving a length, make sure you are giving a proper length. So you should not be less than that. But if you give more length, that is fine. Let us say we are giving a nine, right? So in case if I, in, if I give 10, this also works. Okay, if I give 100 also, it works. Okay, so basically the, the length should be greater than this one, but should not be less than that one. If you give less than that, we may lose some characters here. So to make sure this is a giving as a dynamic value, maybe I can give as a length and a length of that email ID I will give. Now length of this email ID in the sense, it will calculate the total length. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, 14. So this will be a 14, length 14. So this is equal to 14. Even though if you give 14 and if you execute it, you'll get the same answer. Even though if you give this one, even though if you give length and uh, execute this one, you'll get the gmail outcome only. So in this way, by using a substring, by giving a starting position and uh, maybe length of the value we can give, uh, to extract only that particular domain. Okay, so this is looking good. But uh, what about this one, starting position? Starting position also, uh, we need to make it as dynamic value. So that in case, let us say, my email ID is ABC. So if I give starting position as a six, so we'll take a value from here. Now the sixth position, we have M. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it will start from M, mail.com. This is what it will give an output. Right. See, that is what it is giving an output. But you should get a gmail.com. 
now how we can make it this value as a dynamic so let's see that also so to make this value as a dynamic uh, i will use a char index function so by using a char index function uh, we can search for a substring in the string and it will return that position so this position we can find out by using a char index so let's see that how char index will work so this is the char index okay maybe i will give here any email id test at the rate of gmail.com okay so this should be in the second position the first position should be the value what we are searching for the substring we are searching for i am searching for substring at the rate okay from where i am searching i am searching the uh, at the rate from this from this email id okay now if i execute this one now see i am getting a 5 5 as a position but this 5 we are having as a 1 2 3 4 5 at the rate we are having so we need to give here plus 1 so that it will take a g as a next position so if i execute this one now i'll get a 6 so this we can give in place of 6 so that will get a exact uh, position so let us say i'm testing this for another email id maybe at the rate of gmail.com and if i run this one i'm getting a 5 so in this way we can get uh, the position number by using a char index so now i'm going to include this char index value here so this will give a starting position now we are good on this so by using a substring function uh, we will be extracting uh, some characters from a string so based on the string uh, this is the starting position and uh, this is the length we can give okay now in our table we have a email column right so we will replace all these things with email so wherever we have given a test email id we'll give here email so now it will take the emails each and every email and we'll check for a char index wherever we have added it so here also it should be email only so wherever we have added it available in our email column values it will check for that plus 1 so that will be our starting position and length so length also should be for email only okay i will give this as a domain from our table now now if i execute this query we'll get a exact domains now see gmail.com hotmail.com outlook.com so in this way by using a substring function and char index and also by using a length function uh, we can able to extract only some characters from a string that is a domain after this question is asked Uh, there was a counter question from panel so we will see what is that question next question is asked is check email is valid or not so i request you to try yourself and provide answer in the comment box but i will give a hint so whenever you checking for email id if the email id is valid or not we need to uh, make sure we need to follow some rules so what are those so it, email id should contain at least one at the rate and one dot so for example if i take at the rate of gmail.com at the rate is there dot is there similarly at the rate of outlook.com at the rate is there dot is there so that that condition should satisfy and you should not have two at the rates so in email id we will be having only one at the rate you should not have two and next thing you should not have two periods two dots should not be there if we talk about at the rate of gmail.com we can see only one dot is there so we should not have two dots and next thing should not have at the rate and dot next to each other uh, at the rate dot dot at the rate so both should not have next to each other but also we can check next thing should have some characters before and after at the rate and also after dot also there should be some characters that also we can have one check and should not have invalid characters there will be some characters uh, it, it cannot allow to create a email id so we should not have that uh, invalid characters okay so based on these rules we can check if the email is valid or not maybe i will provide my solution in the comment box and i will pin it so you can check it later that's all for this video i hope you like the video please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more such kind of intro questions and answers